Chan, quick math. Yan ang topic natin ngayon ay about root law ng limits. And the root law state that for root function, we can find the limit of the inside function first and then apply the root. We must be careful that we don't end up taking a square root of a negative number. Negative number inside the square root is imaginary. Now, let us take a look the form of root law. So, we have here limit of nth root, I mean nth root of f of x as x approaches c is equal now to nth root of n provided l greater than 0 when n is even. Now, uh, we have example here to, to solve in order for us to understand what is root law about and how to solve the given example in root law and what is the process or procedure to have the or to solve the given example now let us continue to solve the limit uh, the given example here is the limit of square root of x plus 20 as x approaches negative 4 now here as stated in the root law we will apply here the addition law of the limits okay by applying the addition law of limits so first we need to uh, have the sign of square root here okay and we write the we follow the addition so we have limit of x as x approaches negative 4 plus limit of 20 as x approaches negative 4. Next step is to substitute the value of x approaches which is negative 4 to the given addition law uh, in the above equation or I mean in the above expression. Then here our next step we will apply the uh, constant law and identity law now we have the square root of since the value of x is negative 4 so we have negative 4 plus uh, our answer for the limit of 20 as x approaches negative 4 since this one is constant we copy the 20 then we simplify the operation inside so, negative 4 plus 20 is positive 16. We subtract negative 4 to 20 and the sign must be positive because 20 is the high, uh, has the, oh, I mean 20 is bigger than negative 4. So, we follow the sign of biggest number. So, that's why we have 16. And the square root of 16, we know that the answer here is equal to so now this is our answer for the root law so that's all and thank you and i hope you understand the uh, root law of the limits